Okay, so I'm going to teach you the strategy for integration. If you're in Calc 2 and you need to take a test, this is what you need to do. So the first thing, it's really a step-by-step -step guide, it's eight steps or seven, um, is just basic integration rules. Basic integration rules. So just check if you can integrate. The second thing you want to do is U sub. Check for U sub. This is when you have the derivative of part of function in the problem. So you have it inside the function. Something like this, or like this, or like this, or like this, or even something over something. The third thing that you want to look for is to simplify. You just need to simplify. Simplify. With simplification, uh, maybe you want to use identities. Identities. So you have to change things to sines and cosines. Maybe you just need to distribute. Distribution. Um, perhaps you should complete the square. complete the squared. Or you could use the properties of natural log and e to the something. For example, e to the x plus 2 is the same thing as e to the x, e to the 2. All of these things might be helpful. So, so simplifying is your third step. The fourth thing you want to do is check for products. You want to check for products. In the case where you have products, you want to do integration by parts. Integration by parts. When you do integration by parts, you want to make sure that whatever you let u be, that its derivative du becomes simpler. You want to make sure that whatever you let dv be, when you integrate, it's easy to integrate. Here you're looking that it becomes simpler. Here you're looking that you know you just don't waste a whole bunch of time integrating something really complicated. It's probably the, a bad move. Um, the other thing is the acronym Lyotin. The fifth thing you want to look for is powers powers of trig functions. So you have something like sine of x, cosine of x dx. You have tangent and secant, tangent and secant, and you have cotangent and cosecant. So you need to, whenever you see something like this, uh, you have to know what do you do when you have even and even, when you have even and odd, or when you have odds and odds.
that's, that's a fifth thing you're on the lookout for. The sixth thing you're on the lookout for, the sixth and seventh. The sixth is radical. Radical. If you have radical functions, then you're going to look to do u sub, trig sub, and this may include completing the square. Complete the square. The seventh, and really kind of the last one, is rational functions. Rational functions. With rational functions, these are the craziest because you need to check for everything. You need to check for u sub, you need to check for trig sub, you need long division, long division if numerator's power, numerator greater than or equal to denominator. Um, if you, you can also do uh, partial fraction decomposition, solve by partial fractions, in which case you factor the denominator. Factor denominator. Uh, you could also just split the fraction. You have to check for splitting fractions. If you have just um, addition or subtraction in a numerator, you could split that fraction and integrate um, each part. What else? You could multiply by the conjugate in the numerator and the denominator. So that's called just multiplying by 1. Multiply by 1 using conjugates. Conjugates. You could also add 0. Add 0. The eighth step, which is kind of the bonus step, is be creative. Be creative. 